Hello people, yes it's me TFR Wilderness bringing you today a KTRT review. Now, <laughs> uh, obviously I've got my TF Nation t-shirt on today, <laughs> just happened to be wearing it. Anyway, right, I think I've made a mistake in buying this toy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I bought this by mistake. Um, it was a case of mistaken identity. I thought I was buying a different figure altogether and uh, what I've got is totally different to what I was expecting but um, obviously need to get into the story first. Now as I as you know I like collecting these Korean transforming toys and, and the mainstay of my collection is Hello Carbots. Now just lately Hello Carbots has been going a bit mad. Uh, every year they bring out a new series, they bring out a new a new range of toys to go with the new series. I mean they're up to season five now. And it, with each successive season, they the toys they bring out get more move more and more away to what I liked about the show in the first place. That was big leader class scale models of real world vehicles. Their alt modes were like realistic scale models of real cars. But the, the alt modes they're doing now are more outrageous, outlandish, ridiculous, you know, fictitious vehicles that don't that look really ugly and don't look like real world vehicles at all. And, and they're also mad on this this combiner gimmick. They all have to combine in some way or, or other to make these, these ridiculous combiners. And I don't really like that about Hello Carbots. And I'm sort of going off Hello Carbots as a result. So in order to keep my KTRT addiction going, um, I'm having to go back and look at other you know, Korean transforming robot toys that I've been previously overlooked. And for the most part, I've, I've largely ignored the Tobot line. I've only bought a couple of figures from, t from the Tobot line. And uh, obviously that's now evolved into Tobot Athlon. And there's, there's just in the last week or so, there's been a brand new a load of season three bots for Tobot Athlon been announced. And uh, they look kind of interesting, but they're a bit pricey at the moment. So I, I don't know whether I'm gonna take the plunge on them just yet. But uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's other older figures that I want to get and there's one in particular and it's the um, Tobot Z, the original Tobot Z or actually as he came into the series a bit later he came in when the original Tobots got their evolution mode so he's referred to as Evolution Z but he's actually the original Z but he got an upgrade into Adventure Z which is the one you more normally see and it's a uh, it's based on a, a Kia Sorento but anyway, I don't want Adventure Z, even though Adventure Z is a really, really good toy. There's something about it I don't like. I want the original Tobot Z. And the problem is, because he's one of the early figures from one of the early waves of uh, Tobots when they came out, he's no longer in production and pretty much sold out wherever you go. And now the toy has been reissued in uh, in Europe uh, under the Silverlit brand because um, Tobots is trying to branch out into the European market uh, through uh, through you know, a European distributor called Silverlit, and uh, they've reissued the toy, uh, put you no know, English or European packaging on it. Unfortunately, they've jacked the price up. They've effectively doubled the price of the toy. I mean, they usually retail about 40, 45 quid, and now they're asking like over 90 quid for the thing. And I can't justify spending that for it. And it's not really that good a toy, because I've seen a few reviews of it. And as early the early Tobots were a bit limited in terms of articulation. They, they were, I wouldn't exactly say bricks, but you know, they're, they're decent transformations and um, alt modes, but the robot modes le left a lot to be desired and it's it's one of those but the reason I want it is because there's a particular scene in a particular episode of where you've got the four X, Y, uh, W and Z like facing off against each other and I really love that episode and I just want the, the particular de designs of the characters from that particular scene all together and I've got three out of the four characters and the only one I need is, uh, is Z, Tobot Z. Anyway a uh, couple of number of days ago, um, hang on, I'm going to have to figure out when this was. Just uh, look in the uh, the uh, the book of uh, lists and when did I uh, purchase it? Right, 
Friday the 10th of March. I was at work on my phone and for whatever reason I decided to have a just a browse on toe box on, on eBay so I, I, was, I was judging I was going through and then something cropped up now I don't know what it was I mean I reckon I had the old blinkers on <laughs> because I wasn't paying too much attention and all I saw was Tobot original and the price I saw Tobot original and the price was like 25 quid and I thought oh blimey a Tobot for, for 25 quid now I was thinking it was going to be one of the big Tobots and without even thinking buy buy it now and I bought the thing and it wasn't until <sighs> until about 10 15 minutes later when i was noting down the particulars of the ebay item for my lists and it then sunk in that i'd made a mistake <laughs> and hang on a minute this is tobot original y not original z i bought the wrong figure you know and, and how could i mistake it because this one's blue and the other one's red well <laughs> needless to say like i said i must have had the old blinkers on and i was just tunnel vision just just saw tobot original price boom bought it so anyway but then i thought well i didn't really want to buy it but i've only paid 25 quid for it so that's not too bad you know 25 quid for one of these big toe bot figures is is a really good price so i didn't think no more of it that is until yesterday when it arrived now i came home and there was this this box waiting for me and the alarm bell started ringing because Tobots are big figures and just to give you an example here is Tobot Evolution X in his box now as you can see that's quite a large box and you put it next to this box and as you can see there's no way a box this size is going to fit in a box this size so I was thinking oh shit shit now I was thinking what they'd done is they'd taken uh, basically a loose figure, they'd converted it into car mode and dropped it in a box because when I shook it, something rattled in, around inside and I was worried that I'd, I'd bought a used one. But anyway, so I opened it and then what was inside was this. Now, and I looked at it and I thought, that ain't right, that's the wrong size, that's a, that's a small figure, that's not a full size toe bot. I mean, Obviously, look at the size of the box, the box difference. So, yeah. So I thought, what have I bought? So anyway, I got him out and transformed him. And here he is. Now this is Tobot Original Y. Now that's what, I mean, they make a big point on the package of saying that it's the original one. Now. This is this is this is small. It shouldn't be this small. It should be a, a big a bigger vehicle. So, yeah. Now, before we go any well, actually, when we get to the robot mode, I'll go more into the the, the size things. Anyway, here's the car mode. Now, bit of Tobot. It's it's the Korean transforming robot toy made out of nice, lovely, shiny plastic. It's nice and solid, quite chunky, reasonably heavy for its size. Um, paint details he's got like a, a blacked grill and uh, black vents on the front it's got blacked out windows it's got molded mirrors a molded uh, aerial that's picked out in black it's got nice big silver alloy painted wheels that are pinned and they roll extremely well it's got molded details on the side for you know the door handles and the gas cap painted lights at the back and it's got the silver entry port for the uh, the tow key. Now, obviously, being a tow bot, the in the show, the kid has the the tow key. They stick it in the slot, and it unlocks the transformation. Now, on this one, you put it in, and it doesn't turn. But if you actually turn it, it you kind of unpeg the back of the car, and you can start the transformation. It's not as good as some of the others. Some of the others have an actual lock. That when you turn it, it unlatches something inside, and you can start the transformation. Anyway, so that just starts the unpegging on the back of the car. So we, we're going into the transformation. So you basically pull that up, 
fold that under you then unclip the doors from the uh, the sides of the uh, the car fold down the legs and take the feet fold out the feet and then bring them over like that then come to the front of the vehicle open the bonnet or the hood then you pull that down and you can straighten the, the guy out then take the doors and fold them up like so and then we're almost finished you uh, fold down the arms squeeze in the chest and then finally pop up the head and there we have Tobot Y in his robot mode now size wise this guy is he's small he's, he's smaller than a proper size Tobot now I've got um, Evolution Y here which was the first Tobot I ever bought this is the size this thing should be now obviously if you look he's a lot smaller and now there's nothing on the packaging as I can tell to say that this is a smaller variant now they do do such a thing as a uh, Tobot minis but they're even smaller than this and they're much more simplistic in their design and transformation this isn't one of those however what I think this is is just recently Young Toys have been reissuing um, a number of their figures most notably the combiners like Triton and um, Deltatron in slightly re-engineered smaller versions of the originals because the originals are absolutely huge but they've scaled them down slightly to make them a little bit more manageable and simplified the engineering on them a little bit and they've uh, reissued them as I don't know what they re what what line they're calling it but anyway they're, sc they're scaling them down to I suppose you could say a chug scale rather than a masterpiece scale if <laughs> is if there's such a thing for for tow bots so this is kind of like a chug tow bot i suppose um now before i get any further um oh, he does have the gun it does peg in between his legs so you just remove the gun like that and it will peg into his fists like so it's kind of tight um the gun's very thin it has pegs on either side um they don't really use guns. I mean, some of them do have guns, but they don't fire, you know, laser bolts or bullets. They fire, you know, like sort of rubber bands or freeze rays. And yeah, so it's the same with Tobot, uh, a car bot. So they don't really use guns in car bot either. But they he can bundle with one, and he has storage for it in his um, in his car mode. So anyway, now getting back to the size. Now, as you know, you've got. Tobot's this size and they've gone for this scale which I'm going to refer to as the chug scale Tobot. Now I have got a similar sort of thing with Carbots. You've got original Carbot Ace he's like the first Carbot and uh, from Hello Carbots. Now they did what's called Carbot Minis. Now there is a Carbot Mini. Now this is an exact scale model of this. It's just the same mould downsized all the details are on here the same articulation the only thing it's lacking is there's a few paint apps missing and also when they scaled it down they also scaled down the uh, the thickness of the plastic now this thing suffers from very thin rattly plastic and uh, obviously this one's a lot more a lot more solid and sturdy but uh, that's this is a t no a carbot mini now if you put him next to that they are the same size more or less but this is considerably thicker plastic on this, much chunkier, more solid design. But you know, uh, the car mode, it's um, not very realistic. I mean, these car bots transform into proper scale models of real world vehicles. This thing has a likeness to a real world car. In fact, I've managed to find pictures of the car it's based on. It's called a, um, a Kia Forte Coupe, and here's some pictures of one.
so yeah that's the vehicle mode that this guy is is, is based upon um, but as you can see you know his car mode is, is is much more much more squashed up you know much more shorter fatter you know chibi fied chunky fied you know kiddy toy fied version of a of a kia forte but anyway robot mode um decently detailed not quite as detailed as the big one the big one obviously has got a lot more detail going on but i haven't got the big one you know, i've got this this little one um paint apps he's um got orange on his head but it's a very darkish orange it should be a lighter shade but uh, uh, it, it's neither here nor there they have took some liberties in the transformation department you look at the design of the the full size one and this and obviously they have done the transformations slightly differently they have sort of simplified the design slightly now being a tow bot and a ktrt bot articulation isn't the best however saying that this guy does have some a few little surprises now the head is on a solid chunk that just slides up and down it does not move it's a shame they couldn't have put a mushroom peg in here but there you go shoulders are probably one of the biggest disappointments now you've got this hinge joint which goes out to the side as part of the transformation and it has a little bit of a twist not much a little bit now he does have elbows that go to 90 degrees and you can you could say that's a bicep swivel or a shoulder swivel but his shoulders don't go up and down they're fixed to this thing and that thing is just on a hinge joint which is hinged at the shoulder so his arms don't go up and down the only forwards and backwards you get is at the elbow which is a shame now he does have a waist joint see he's got a waist joint now don't need it for transformation so it's a genuine waist joint most ktrt bots that i've done they don't bother with waist joints they they don't bother to engineer them even though there's probably room to stick a mushroom peg or whatever in there to do it anyway he's got got that uh, one thing i will say about him he's got quite a quite a, a cape the whole top of the car forms a uh, like a cape on his back now it does kind of it flush or slightly hinged outwards now because of this it does restrict the uh, the rearward articulation of his legs now he has got has got um, universal hips but spread wise they only go out that far because of the limited clearance they are ratcheted and they go forwards and they, they will go back if this thing wasn't in the way I suppose if you turn turn the waist sideways you can see they go quite far forwards quite far back knees go back to about 45 degrees no five swivels but he does have these kind of double jointed ankle jobbies now they can go back so you, you can sort of it kind of looks like he's got more articulation in his leg than he actually has so it's kind of got this lower shin that is artic that's articulated at both ends. So that's it really for the articulation. Um, it is a, a smaller rendition of the toy. Um, it's all right. Uh, I mean, I like I said, I bought it blind. I was just, you know, I mean, blinkers on. I was blinded by, by some of the things I saw. I thought I was buying something else. I mean, I thought I was buying this thing this is a uh, um this is the toy i was really looking to get towbot uh, z and uh yeah it was a mistake uh, i didn't mean to buy this thing but now that i've got him he's all right and because it's a different size class because you know when you you put it next to that guy it's smaller and then you put him next to this guy you know he's about the same size it's all right it's not bad um i'm kind of glad i bought it you know it was a mistake but i'm glad i got it you know I, i'm not regretting buying it it's all right uh i wouldn't have bought it if i'd have known what i was letting myself in for if i if i'd have realized it was a smaller version i probably wouldn't have bothered with it 
if I, if I if I'd have gone for a smaller version of the, I would have rather gone for Tobot X than Y because Tobot X just looks cooler, I think, because he's orange mainly. <laughs> I mean, look, you know, this guy Tobot X, but he's all right. Tobot Y, he's he's pretty good. It's a decent little toy, um, but uh, yeah, there's that. So that's been my review of uh, Tobot um, Original Y. Uh, <laughs> bit of a mistake buying it, but there you go, <laughs> these things happen. Um, I will be putting another video up on Sunday because uh, tomorrow I'm going to the Lem Comic Con. So uh, yeah, there's uh, Mark Lemming. Christian Wild Goose, John Paul Bowe's going to be there signing stuff. Um, bought me tickets already. Uh, me and my mate Richard are going. Um, I'm uh, hoping, you know, so hoping to make a major third-party purchase. There's a particular third-party bot which I've seen at the Banbury Comic Con, and it was also at uh, Comic Connections in Banbury, and it's one of them. Um, Sino uh, Kibble, you know uh, Sid Beckett's figures that he was selling. I'm not going to say what one it is, but it's uh, it's kind of big and impressive and expensive, and uh, I'm kind of thinking I uh, might might go for it. But anyway, that'll be tomorrow. Uh, I might you know film some video while I'm there and uh, put something up on Sunday. But uh, for now, that's been me, TFR Wilderness. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you all next time. Goodbye.